has nothing to do with the people of Paris or Ladybug and Cat Noir. You don't need to make everyone suffer because of me. Since the finale of Miraculous Ladybug's fifth season several months ago, fans of the series have waited anxiously to hear news about the series' future. Jeremy Zag was kind enough to release production updates in September 2023, revealing updated animation, new locations, and brand new character designs for Marinette. The few seconds of footage were enough to ignite the fandom's passion for the upcoming season, but there's been a lull in new information. To keep the excitement going, we're using today's video to explore possible beginnings for Season 6. With so many things changing in the world of Miraculous Ladybug, these seven things should get screen time in the season's first few episodes. Nate, Adrian, Marinette, Ollie, and I will gear up with paintballs, so we're ready to fight back in case there's no way to stop the akumatization. Number 1. The French Superhero Team Ladybug and Cat Noir lost their greatest allies throughout Season 5 once Monarch obtained the Miraculouses. The series reverted to its roots by dropping the number of Paris' heroes down to a single dynamic duo. The pair of heroes had started to depend on their teammates regularly when dealing with dangerous akumatized villains, so losing their support and power raised the stakes for the entire season. Fortunately, it's not the costume or the superpowers that made any of the Miraculous Wielders a true hero, as many of the characters found ways to continue helping Ladybug and Cat Noir whenever possible. The most notable example is the Resistance, created and run by Nino. Unknown to everyone aside from Marinette, the group consists of former Wielders of the Miraculouses, otherwise known as the students of Miss Bustier's class, or Marinette's friends. They gather in the basement of Collège Francois Dupont, using privacy as their base of operations, creating plans to help the heroes in the event of an Akuma attack. They come through in deflagration when they help prevent Monarch from stealing the Ladybug and Cat Miraculouses. Although the heroes do their best to keep their city safe without their powers, it is a significant relief when they receive their Miraculouses at the end of recreation. The finale scenes of the episode showcase the entire French superhero team ready and willing to get to work. However, with so many heroes available at all times, there will likely be an adjustment period where Ladybug learns how to manage such a large team. Minotaurix, Purple Tigress, Polymouse with me! We'll never be able to beat the Senta Monsters until we defeat Risk! Number 2. Introduction to Lila as a Villain Miraculous fans have suspected Lila would rise to become a primary antagonist from the moment she appeared in the first season. She's manipulative and isn't afraid to play the long game if it means coming out on top. She spent five seasons gaining information on every primary character in the series, learning their weaknesses, passions, and how to twist them around her finger. Marinette manages to set back Lila's plans by exposing her to the school in confrontation. However, it doesn't take long for Lila to bounce back, taking advantage of Paris's chaos to obtain significant power. Not only does she elevate Chloe to the temporary mayor of Paris, but she uses her stolen knowledge about Gabriel to enter his home in recreation, stealing the butterfly miraculous before Ladybug can recover it. At the end of the season, we witness Lila wearing her new miraculous. As future episodes air, we'll need a complete introduction to her alter ego, including her villain name, costume, transformation sequence, and what she's planning to do with her newfound powers. I look forward to seeing you again, Marinette Dupin Chang. Number 3. Lila's New Persona In addition to Lila becoming the series' next supervillain with the Butterfly Miraculous, she's taken on a new persona to counteract her former classmates, learning the truth about her. In the episode Revelation, we realize Lila's balancing multiple lives with numerous mothers, friend groups, and school obligations. Currently, there's no indication why she began creating multiple personas to manipulate those around her. However, she's planning to use her acting, disguise, and communication skills to infiltrate College Francois Dupont. At the end of recreation, Lila has a video call with Mr. Damocles, asking if there's still time to enroll for the upcoming school year. He readily agrees, and Lila sets the stage for her new persona, Cerise, to enter the series. The first episodes of Season 6 may show Cerise inserting herself into Marinette's friend group, with carefully crafted lies that ensure she won't get caught for a second time. Yes! I moved heaven and earth so I could be back just in time for the teacher's rep meeting. Number 4. New Characters Another potential outcome for the beginning of Season 6 is new characters arriving in Paris. We know from production updates and leaks that Miraculous Ladybug will feature new locations. These locations include a flower shop opening beside the Dupain Chang Bakery, which could serve as the home for new friends, superhero allies, and potential enemies. Mayor Bustier and Mr. Damocles also decide to open Collège Francois Dupont to children of all ages, allowing them to learn at individual paces. With the school having so much potential, it's likely to draw the attention of new characters with significance to the story. According to a recent tweet from the Twitter account Lady Blog News, the creator of the series, Thomas Astruc, commented there will be two new characters in season six with disabilities. 
Miraculous has always done well supplying representation for people from all walks of life, and the addition of characters who have disabilities will only widen that scope. There are already mentions of LGBTQ relationships, more prominently in the fifth season, and Rose offered the series' first venture into characters with chronic pain. It would be great to have positive representation in a children's animated series for those with disabilities, and even better to see some of these new characters become heroes. Maybe this will help us track him. <sighs> Number 5. Costume and Power Upgrades From the same production updates provided by Jeremy Zag on his Instagram that showed the new flower shop, fans of the series received a glimpse of Marinette sitting on her balcony sporting a brand new look. Marinette's outfit from previous seasons gets replaced by a white shirt, a black blazer lined in pink, pink shorts, and a pair of stockings. There's no telling how much time has passed between seasons 5 and 6, but the main characters will receive new designs for their daily lives and costumes for when they're powered up. The heroes may also experience new power upgrades in the beginning episodes of Season 6. In Mr. Pigeon 72, Marinette and Alia realized that Miraculous wielders of the past didn't unlock their full range of powers. The Miraculous Grimoire has empty pages to receive updates about Miraculouses and their specific abilities. Similarly to how Ladybug learns to make magical charms, her fellow heroes now have the time to uncover new information about their powers. Number 6. Kwame and Wielder Relationships One of the best parts about Miraculous Ladybug includes the Kwamis, their abilities, and the unique relationships they forge with each of their wielders. Throughout five seasons, fans have watched Marinette and Adrian bond with their respective Kwamis over time. Once Marinette releases the Kwamis from their Miracle Box in Truth, she and Alia also have the opportunity to interact with them individually, learning more about them. At the end of recreation, Marinette decides that the wielders should have their Miraculouses indefinitely. In doing so, she prevents future villains from stealing them in one fell swoop. The change is something Miraculous fans have waited a long time for, specifically to avoid unnecessary complications to see their favorite characters as heroes more often, and to explore their unique dynamics with their Kwamis. It will also be fun to see how some characters like Luca and Julika will manage to keep their secret identities from one another when they have two Kwamis in the same home. What is that strange liquid running from her eyes? It's tears! That's so sad! Number 7. New Akumatized Villains since Miraculous Ladybug has operated on a specific formula, one thing we can depend on seeing in Season 6 is the resurgence of akumatized villains. While Gabriel had a habit of reusing the same villains once the series entered its later seasons, we've been promised new and engaging villains by the time-traveling hero Bunnix. She mentions a few by name in Time Tagger, including Monsieur Rat, who will undoubtedly be a repowered version of Mr. Ramier. Gabriel often lost to Ladybug and Cat Noir because they knew what to expect about his reused villains, but the heroes won't have that same luxury luxury now that Lila has the Butterfly Miraculous. Part of the fun for next season's first few episodes is learning how Lila will use her power, and the type of people she'll akumatize. He's destroying our present by rewriting the past! Bunnix, since the future me hasn't been able to stop Time Tagger from coming here, they must not be that powerful. <gasps> As 2024 continues, Miraculous Ladybug fans eagerly await more news about Season 6. Now that Gabriel Agrest is no longer the series' main protagonist, there's potential for the narrative to change exponentially, with new characters, settings, and challenges for Ladybug and Cat Noir to explore. It seems like the series is entering a new era, prepared to entertain new and old audiences as their favorite heroes continue to protect Paris from evil. This is impossible! Marinette, don't trust him! Inferno! <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. Marinette Dupan Chang, it's always Marinette Dupan Chang. You will pay for this.